Huey Long was, um, he was an interesting character. Um, he was born in Louisiana in 1893. His parents were both lower class citizens. Um, he grew up kind of seeing the inequity playing out between the corporations, the heads of corporations who in some ways kind of controlled the state of Louisiana at the time and how a lot of the more lower class families or lower class citizens weren't given the right amount of wealth compared to what the corporation owners were taking in. Um, his first political office that he really set him on the map, I would say, was he was railroad commissioner for the state of Louisiana, which he was elected to at the age of 25. While in this position, he was able to kind of build a name for himself, saying that he was a champion of the common man by fighting a bunch of unfair um, actions against the common man in Louisiana. Um, utility rate increases. Um, there was pipelines on, or um, monopolies on pipelines at the time. Um, and he fought against all those. Uh, he was elected governor in 1928. And while governor, he did a lot of questionable acts that some today would consider authoritarian, more in line with a dictator. Um, the way he kind of grabbed hold of the political institutions of Louisiana and kind of made them do what he wanted to do. Um, but while he was governor and with all this power, he rebuilt the infrastructure that was sorely lacking in Louisiana. There weren't any established roads. Most of them were muddy roads, dirt roads, stuff like that, um, which he wanted to rebuild. He built new hospitals. He built new, like, um, government buildings. He built houses, housing. Um... One of the biggest things he really fought for was education for anybody that wanted it. Um, at the time, before he wanted to do all this, uh, a lot of kids wouldn't go to school, or if they go to school, they'd get out pretty early to go work, and education wasn't really an important part of society back then. Um, but he, by doing one of the things that people consider him more of an autocrat. He took the money from um, Standard Oil, the Standard Oil Company, and um, used that to fund a program to provide children, elementary school children, with free textbooks. Um, he was also a very active promoter of LSU. Um, he really believed that public education was extremely important for those that were underprivileged to really get a chance to make a live a life for themselves. Um, while he was uh, governor of Louisiana, um, he also ran for Senate in 1930, which he won, but he was still governor. So he kind of left, well, he didn't kind of, he left the Senate seat that was for him vacant for a couple months until he could get somebody that he trusted to keep his policies going into power in Louisiana, whether by becoming governor or lieutenant governor, or just trying to make sure that if anybody was elected that they wouldn't roll back all the policies that he made while he was governor. Um, in 1934, he unveiled probably his most famous program, which was the Share Our Wealth program. Uh, its main aim was to ensure that everybody had 
the same amount of resources available to them, that nobody was inherently better off just because they had more money. He wanted to make sure that everybody was able to afford some of these things. Um, in 1936, well, he was poised to run against FDR in 1936, but he was assassinated in 35 by a disgruntled son-in-law of a district judge there in Louisiana after Wong and a bunch of his other friends were able to gerrymander um, him out of office. So the son-in-law, he went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to the Capitol building there. And when Huey Long was coming out of the door, he shot him. And while it's going on, the last thing you can really hear, or the last thing that Huey Long said was, God, don't let me die. I have so much to do. Um, his bodyguards took out the assassin, and Huey Long died the day, the next day or the day after. Um, without really... I mean, what I'm trying to say is that Huey Long, some will view him today as a authoritarian, but I believe some of the policies that he really enacted, he really wanted to help the people. Um, and by the people, I mean all people. And in some ways, it can be said that it's unfortunate that he didn't live long enough to probably, or most likely, he could have been elected president. Um, but yeah, as I said, this was a very interesting character to research and perform, and in many ways, I'm glad I did.